Uh, so this uh, uh, EMOS uh, is electric mobility solution. So our our roadmap uh, is empowering the nation in terms of uh, getting into the green mobility uh, space. And this is where this we have taken the first step of piloting uh, the tuk-tuks uh, into the segment. We have about eight units in the uh, uh, with electric vehicles. Going to have our space for the green energy into Kenyan markets. That is a, one of the biggest government initiatives which they have taken it. And we are going to indirectly support the government uh, launch. That is one of the game changer which is going to happen. On second end, with the model that we are coming up with, it is going to be more of a leasing uh, and uh, program, not kind of buying and purchasing, so that it is going to be a game changer for even the driver. To vehicles, uh, uh, the beauty of this uh, is uh, low maintenance, uh, silent, vibration free, and above all, no carbon emissions. And uh, the empowerment uh, means uh, empowering the driver to earn more compared to the ICE engines. The ICE engine has got maintenance, uh, the fuel cost is going up every day and if you consider that, the, the driver, end of the day, he takes from comfortably 25 to 35 percent more than the ICE engine. So we, we want to be a major player. Uh, to sustain themselves by without investing any kind of large amount of money and paying it out on daily basis basically pay as you earn and that is what the scheme is going to be. We have not yet come up with the right figures which is still worked on and then after once it is there we will be able to put it out. It's a complete pilot project and we are looking out forward to increase our space with almost about 300 to 400 three-wheelers into the market before the close of the year and also by then to come up with uh, also with the two-wheelers into the market. Also simultaneously we will be working out in the long term supporting the government's initiative in the electric mobility space and this is where we have started the three wheelers uh, piloting eight units in about six to eight months or ten months from now we'll be also launching the electric motorcycles in this space and we are confident uh, uh, the product uh, should perform in, in tough terrains as Africa uh, and particularly Kenya and Mombasa like and uh, uh, the product durability has been, it has been tested uh, uh, in different terrain conditions uh, like floods uh, it, the electric mo vehicles you know sails through water like it wades through water comfortably unlike the ice engines on local assembling not that only we are going to work out with uh, importing the vehicles it will be locally assembled so it will increase the employment opportunities to quite number of our Kenyan members and that will have out a positive side also. Where have they been imported from? At the moment, this is from India. India, yeah. We are, which is the major game changer all across the world, especially on the green energy is concerned. They are the major players, actually. So our, our battery self-life, it is rather much, much, much better and much safer than compared to the other competition which might be existing in the market. And that is the most positive side we are seeing it out, actually. Yes, so even that one we will have to closely monitor and discuss out with the government. If if the government initiative is to got, got an additional 20 kilometers as buffer just in case you know uh, you miss out uh, charging it, and uh, we also coming out with uh, battery as service solutions in terms of swappable batteries uh, that would make uh, uh, the, that will keep on adding the range. And you, know, you change the battery as you keep on using it. And we'll have, uh, we'll cover the, uh, we'll ensure the network is covered in terms of uh, battery as a service uh, solution. For now, the pilot vehicles in a specific, uh, you know, uh, defined uh, uh, route map uh, as a as a case study. But um, moving forward, we'll keep on support the three uh, green energy program. Then definitely there should be some sort of benefit to be given out, so that at least that benefit, not that for the importers, but it can be passed on to the local population as well. And simultaneously, it can help us on uh, putting it out some savings for, for the people who are riding it, actually. That will be like the major game changer. Uh, definitely, there will be like a KYC system. We will be thoroughly following it out, that one. So that based on same, uh, we will shortlist the people who has been selected and based on that we will be moving forward actually but a complete KYC system will be followed and all the laws and uh, regulations will be followed out on the most priority basis yeah we will be launching it out that one as well in the longer longer term like uh, within another two months time we'll be coming out with an application entirely well 
where they can find out where the charging station is going to be, where uh, they can apply for as a drivers as well, and where if they want to come across because permanently like on three wheelers we'll be going it out on this leasing program but on two wheelers we will be running with both the programs with the leasing program as well as on the program for uh, also buying and selling it as well as a unit well that will be dependent upon the driver themselves it will be like a normal industry it is going to be passed on but then definitely if a driver is able to save something more than the regular uh, fuel vehicle Definitely, if they are more beneficial, they'll be charging it out more economical to the passengers, and it is going to be indirectly it is going to benefit to the passengers. So, for example, currently, if the pricing from here to City Mall is example 100 bob, then definitely they'll be inclined because if they are earning more, they'll be inclined to put out 75 bob than the compared to it. Can track each and every vehicle, the driver behavior, um, the number of pit stop he does, uh, the amount of money he earns for the day. Uh, we can also geofence the vehicle and we get alarms to uh, the designated persons uh, if if the breach is happening yeah so uh, so what technology are you using here uh, this is the telematics device that is on the vehicle so each and every vehicle can be tracked